somebody's going to win uh, their way into this break. And there's 10 total spots. And there's some interesting rules to the break. We'll look at the rules later. Right now, let's just see who gets in. And uh, you can actually win your way. There's, an, there's the last spot here is up for grabs. Uh, filler F. So that, that is the last spot right there. Now it's time for our race. Good luck, Golly G and Craig and Rudy and Rick. Seven times for the shuffle. Lucky number seven. On your mark, get set, go. So the winner gets into the break for 1150. And the spots usually cost 40 something. So there's a lot of retail value to be won here in this race. Three, two, one. Rick F., you've been on fire around here. Congratulations. Rick F.'s got some serious speed today. All right. Oh. So you're in, you're in uh, to that break. And real quickly, just to explain how this break works, if you're unfamiliar, uh, you'll be getting a treasure coin, baseball coin, when you get into the box break. And if you hit Aaron Judge, that is the top ranked coin. Uh, and that means you could have a really good chance at, at pulling this prize if you pull Aaron Judge, because if no one else has an Aaron Judge coin, then you're going to win that coin. You're going to win the hit. If someone else has an Aaron Judge coin, then you'll be in the ran between the two owners. Or even if there's three Aaron Judge coins, then there'll be a ran between the three owners. So the coins kind of go in a ranking system like that. If no Aaron Judge is pulled, the next ranked coin would be the Bryce Harper. That could win you the hit. If no Aaron Judge is pulled, you have Bryce Harper. Um, and you're the only one with a Bryce Harper, you will get the hit. So it goes on down the list like that. Uh, somebody's going to get this hit in the break. And it's going to be exciting and fun to see what happens. It's a beautiful looking coin. That is about to happen very, very soon. 